Hi everyone, I'm Nitika Chopra. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I want to talk to you all about essential oils. So you've probably seen me talk about essential oils throughout different things that I've done, but today I really want to focus on them. Over the last year, I have become obsessed with essential oils. They're something that I have heard a lot about throughout my life and people have referred to them often, but I never really understood the power of them and never used them throughout my daily routine, but now I cannot get enough. So to start, I just want to tell you about a few oils and a couple of combinations that I use and why they like work so well for me and what I love so much about them. So the first one I want to tell you about is one that I have referred to a lot, which is lavender. Lavender essential oil is so powerful and I used to just use it on my pulse points throughout the day if I was maybe getting stressed, if I was feeling like I was running late for something, that's something that stresses me out a lot, or nervous before a big meeting. But the place where I see the biggest difference is when I put the lavender on my wrists slightly rub it together and then you know I kind of sleep in like fetal position <laughs> when I go to sleep so I actually do it before I go to bed now and I smell it while I'm trying to fall asleep and it really helps calm me down I'm one of those people that my mind is racing the whole time I'm trying to fall asleep and when I do that it really helps so the other combination the other oil which is actually two oils com combined that I want to share with you is leaven and um, frankincense so lemon and frankincense is something that my friend Shankala, who's the founder of Uma Oils, told me about um, a little while ago. I was talking to her about different things that I loved and also telling her that I wanted something that lifted my mood. And she told me to try lemon and frankincense. And I thought that she was a little crazy because frankincense was always one of those oils that I was like, does this really do anything? Like, what is, what is frankincense, you know? But let me tell you, it really works. My editor, Blair, and I actually tried it one day after Shankala had told us about it, and we were having one of those slumping times during our work session where we had been working for hours, and we needed to crank out like one more good hour, and we put this combination on our wrists, rubbed it together, inhaled it, and it was like literally everything got brighter. It really made an instant, really powerful difference. So I really recommend that. And the last combination that I really love is sandalwood and rose. And I absolutely love it because it's really romantic. It's also really grounding. Both the sandalwood and the rose are really grounding. And I find that I use this oil, these combinations of oils a lot before a date. I also like to do it sometimes when I'm having especially like introverted day. I feel like I just need that warm, calming, soothing, grounding feeling. And this combination of oils does that for me. So there's a few brands that you can try. Uh, Uma Oils is a great brand because they have their own farms and land in India where they create all of the oils from the, their own ingredients, which is awesome. You can also try Young Living. There's so many great brands out there, but just make sure you get really high quality stuff. I also wanted to share a couple of blends that I have been obsessing over really quickly with you before I go. So I have four different blends here. So we've got this amazing blend by Naturopathica, it's one of my favorite companies, and this one in particular is called Reboot. It's from their Aromatic Alchemy collection, and this has things like holy basil, lemon, it's something that exactly like what it says to Reboot, it's for that. It really just brightens up all of your senses and you feel so invigorated after applying that. So I do this a lot before I go out in the morning if I'm feeling like I need a little extra push. Then I love this roll-on from Amy Raup, who's a dear friend of mine. She's awesome. She makes all of this stuff herself and it easily rolls on just like that. And I love this because it's called Love, first of all. This is the blend that I have here. It's mixed with things like rose, sandalwood, jasmine. It gives that really romantic feeling that I was talking to you about earlier um, and it's really grounding as well. The other one that I have that I really love is from uh, Yogi, it's from Nilu Kaur. So I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'll link to it below. And it's called Yogini Bliss. And this is actually supposed to make you feel like you do after a really good yoga class, which I thought was really cool. I'm not like hugely great about doing yoga, but I love the way this smells. And it has things in it like 
cardamom, um, there's vanilla, there's mandarin, geranium. It's really, really like, it, it has that warmth to it as well, but there's also that really nice sweetness, which I personally love. And this is a roll-on as well. And last but not least is the Vata Perfume Oil from my friends at Trade Yoki. I love this company. First of all, it's really beautiful and I love that. I love these rose petals that are in the actual product. And this is for the Vata Dosha, which is wonderful. And it has blends of sesame, almond, um, apricot. It's really about helping with insomnia and also like a really great grounding oil as well. And I really love it. And it's also a roll on too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. I know when I first started getting into oils, I had no idea where to go or what to do. So my intention with this video was to just be a guide for you and to help you a little bit and to encourage you to try experimenting with oils. They're usually pretty affordable and if you get a great quality, they're really fun to play with. So thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what your favorite oil combinations are or if you have a great company that does really good oil blends, please tell me because I love good oil blends and leave those in the comments below as well. Or feel free to ask me a question. I'd be happy to answer for you. And if you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends, send it to somebody that you think would enjoy the content. I would really love to spread the word about essential oils. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Remember to love yourself first. Bye.